Hello, Akhmadan and me Dinajad, Matmaran Ramadan. <laughs> Allah Huli Hukata. Um, that actually sounded a little more Chinese than anything. I don't know this language. I'm biased towards Arabic languages. They sound stupid to me. The language itself looks dumb. Sorry, guys, but uh, it looks like you need a paintbrush to use it. That are getting on our fucking nerves. Number one. The Backyardigans is gay. I don't mean gay in the homosexual sense. I mean it the way you guys use it, which is in the wrong context, which just means lame. Actually, the Backyardigans is every definition of the word gay. Oh, me a liar while you're standing out here harassing teenagers. I'm not harassing You can go anyone? get a freaking life. The, these, these children are being You can go get a freaking life. In Have you noticed society? he's doing the white equivalent of that? You need to go get a life. I'm smarter than you. You're stupid. Go home. You're at a science-based school. Those are cells. So you need a You're at a science-based... He's pointing to a fetus going, those are cells. Here, son. All right. I'm as gay as the day is long and twice as sunny. I don't give a fuck what you think Jesus tells me and what I should and should not be doing. Whoa. Girl, you just got served. Very close friends who have been there for me a lot in London are Saudi, and they gave me Quran. They gave me Quran. Because I was learning, and I was... And it was... It opened doors for me to experience. Us and Antifa, you there? Yeah, hey. hello. How's it going, eh? Oh, I don't understand why you are taking on the charge of violence. Let's kill Nazis. Let's kill fascists. I think it's sort of like when you're seven and you go, you know what I would do if you came at me? I'd go, dish. Like that, and then your friend goes, yeah, you do that, I would block it, then I'd headbutt you, and then I'd put your nose bone through your brain. They're in that phase of their evolution. They're, they're seven-year-old boys. What is all this hodgepodge? Peace begins with a smile, Mother Teresa. And then they have that black woman who's magic. She's one of the X-Men. And then a, a white cop touching a black, giving him a rose? <laughs> if there is an example that personifies this trend perfectly, it is Yvette Falarka who is completely mental. You may remember her uh, back in June, I believe it was uh, in Sacramento, where there was some sort of fascist protest. I think these guys actually were pretty darn right wing. Again, not Nazis, but about as right wing as wings can get. So they go there and seven people get stabbed. Who was behind this violence? Yvette Falarka. Can you imagine getting in a knife fight with her? She's like a five-foot-tall Mexican woman. I'm used to this kind of talk. I remember I met Jimmy Miller, Dennis, Dennis Miller's brother. I was working with him. He's like a Bill O'Reilly level of success, but in the comedy world. And the first time he saw me, he goes, let me see this guy's cock. <laughs> and he walks over and he points to my package and goes, I knew it'd be big. And then we go to a meeting soon after and he's in the meeting going like this to the furniture while HBO's on their way. You know why? Because it was funny. When you're in bars and some guy wants to fight you and you're, you're trying to soothe the situation because he's with four other people and then your girlfriend comes up and goes, you pussy to him. He could, my boyfriend would kick your ass. You're all dead and you're sitting there going, honey, 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 take it down a notch, okay? I don't want to fight these five guys. My boy, he's going to kill you. Uh, <laughs> we'll see about that. Just can you leave, please? That's what Antifa has become and Yvette Falarka is... That students are on the right side of history and college kids that are PC are actually right and you shouldn't call things gay. Ow. Now we have Amy getting uptight about stuff. But what brought this all to the forefront was stealing jokes. There were some uh, comedians on Twitter who called her out a couple of weeks ago and said that she had been stealing their material. They even said at least Cosby would knock people out before he raped them. <laughs> that rape joke, by the way, seemed to make people more mad than the joke stealing. But joke stealing is a big deal. In the comedy land, it shut down the fat Jew. This is how the, these teachers swallow up their day. But she includes anti-Trump memes in this PowerPoint. The moment when you are at a Trump rally and you define whether they're okay by their skin tone. You know those, those things that people do at Trump rallies all the time. Hello, I am from Africa and I am here to support Trump. No, bye bye Balik Obama. You're too dark to be at this rally. We have a tone chart. You didn't have to do that. You know, I was a stranger to her. She didn't have and to I put a scarf on your like head? I her headscarf, and she gave it to me. And maybe she only has two, and she gave me one. <laughs> maybe no she has only has two, two, and she gave and it said, to you me. You know what? Because this woman took the time to give me this. And, Is she crying? A part of herself. Oh, my God. You know, you're, you know when you're so hungover, you cry at everything? That's probably the state she was in. Now, see, a few broken windows is a small price to pay when 
we are saving thousands of lives by preventing a future Holocaust. <laughs> so that's the impetus here is you're trying to prevent another Hitler from doing another Holocaust. Exactly. Is that Trump's plan? It appears to be, yes. Okay, and he wants to kill not just Jews, but trans people, disabled people, Mexicans. He wants to yes, kill them all. Of yes. course, yes. Absolutely. I mean, that's always been the uh, case. It's always been the plan. What about poor white people? Those are his voter base. He can't kill those people. He's just been using them for the past uh, year now. Okay, so he wants to kill about half of the American population. It'll make it easier for him to stay in power. Two, 220 million people he wants to kill? It appears so. That seems a bit That's rich. Fine. A professor discussing when is it okay to kill whites <laughs> on a radio interview. Now, here's my, uh, here's my take on these kind of guys. I think they're, they're Sambos, they're Uncle Toms. You see, white liberals, they want to have a black friend who's a revolutionary. They don't want a, a, a guy like a, in a sweater vest who, who likes country music. That's not a good enough white, uh, good enough black friend. You want a black revolutionary. So this black professor talks about killing whites. You know all his white friends go, <laughs> I've got like one of the most hardcore black friends ever. He's like, I want to kill white people. Like he doesn't want to kill me, obviously. He says, you get a pass because <laughs> I'm kind of down with the brown. <laughs> but yeah, he wants to kill you. Uh, and maybe I can get you a pass. I don't know. I'm in with the black people. I, I want to just tell you what he sent me in the email. It's gay to brag about going to a good school, but it's relevant to the context. I go to a very selective law school. My classmates are adults that will be policymakers, lawyers, and judges all over the country in a few years. We'll be expected to know and apply complex legal theories for our livelihoods. All this considered, for some reason, we have to be reminded of that real gray area in our law. Tight jeans are never an excuse to rape. Can you imagine the kind of Luddite cave person who thinks tight jeans are an excuse to rape? <laughs> they had tight jeans! <laughs> you had tight jeans, you show me your butt. You show me your butt. Meanwhile, women wear leggings. If anything, within the parameter of that idiocy, it should be focused on leggings, not tight jeans. What is this, 1980? We're in a ZZ Top video?